let's keep on. now believe she was kidnapped or is just very good at hiding. The abduction took place in Mayor... I'll talk to you. One of our squad cars found this in a telephone booth. An anonymous caller tipped us off to his location. We have your daughter. Pay us one million dollars or we'll kill her. Details later. Have a nice day. One million dollars? Good Lord. By the way, sir, your home security guard is in critical condition. You're the poor man. He was like an employee to me. We're at the scene of a liquor store robbery that was thwarted by the man beside me, Inspector Sledgehammer. Inspector Hammer, tell us what happened. Well, miss, I was in this store when two thugs entered and threatened the owner with shotguns. At that time, I drew my magnum and killed them both. And then I bought some eggs and some milk and some of those little cocktail weenies. Inspector Hammer, was what you did in the store absolutely necessary? Oh, yes, I had no groceries at all. This Sledgehammer. Who is he? A menace. He used to fire warning shots at jaywalkers. Now, after this liquor store incident, I placed him on six months suspension with orders not to leave his apartment. But well, take him off suspension and put him on this case. But Mr. Mayor, rumor has it that this man talks to his gun like it was a person. This isn't open for discussion. This is an order. I want Sledgehammer. Okay, go ahead, speak to me. You got it. I'll be right down. You hear that? I'm off suspension. Looks like they can't keep a good man down, huh? Or me either. machine took my money. Stand away from it. No! Hammer! In my office right now! What the hell did I tell you about firing your gun inside, Hammer? Oh, uh, you said uh, don't, don't do it. You damn right I told you not to do it. And take off those damn sunglasses when I'm talking to you. You couldn't resist it, could you, Hammer? You couldn't resist blowing up a building on your way to work this morning, could you, Hammer? Look, the only way to fight criminals is to be, you know, wilder than there. 
I mean, that's my method. I feel a migraine coming on. There's, there's a migraine here. Captain, I feel that the reason you keep getting these headaches is your neck is out of line. What you need is a chiropractic adjustment. Ah! Is that better? You sadistic, depraved, bloodthirsty, barbaric! Is that why you called me in here to shower me with compliments? No! I suppose you heard what happened to the mayor's daughter. Nope. What's the matter with you, Hammer? Don't you read the papers? No, I prefer to get my information from more reliable sources like rumor and small children. She was kidnapped last night from the mayor's own home. And you have been personally requested to head up the investigation into the manor. Requested? Really? By whom? By me. I'm impressed with the way you get results, Hammer. Chief Reisner told me once you obtained information from a suspect by tying him to the back of your car and dragging him through half the city. No, that's bunk. Half the city, no. We never left the parking lot. Chief, I find this man perfectly rational. Anybody mind if I smoke? Oh, you light a cigarette in front of me, sir. You know what you get? Oh, no! A stick of gum. The Surgeon General has determined that cigarette smoking is very bad for your health. Why don't you just quit?